Hey, it's Fern Bark, and uh, one of the things I struggle with up at Morningwood is I don't have a lot of refrigeration, and the refrigeration that I do have, I like to reserve for tasty beverages. So I've been doing some research into uh, long-term, non-perishable food storage, and it kind of comes down to three things that I found. And what, the reason I'm making this video is I'm hoping as I go over the stuff, maybe somebody will see and say, give me a suggestion of something I'm missing, or possibly this will inform you uh, if you're doing this kind of research yourself. But the three things that I've found so far basically are canned products, MREs, which are basically canned products. They're just kind of meals ready to eat, duh, and freeze-dried foods. The overwhelming advantage of an MRE is that it's an easy hot meal in a self-contained package and it has a theoretical lifespan of five years and then you'll find people that say it can be longer than that, it'll be less than that. Um, I know for sure that it can be less if it's stored in high temp. So uh, if you keep something like this in your car, uh, I would plan on eating it within the year and then swapping it out with another one that you kept in a cooler place. Uh, the cons about an MRE is that they're expensive and uh, the expiration date is shortened by heat as I said. Let's see this is not even say what it is in here. Oh this is spaghetti. It's hard to read that one. Um, and you have a limited menu. So there's really just a few entree options that you get with each style of uh, or, all, no matter who you get the MRE from, there's really about 12 different uh, different items on the menu, and a lot of them kind of repeat because, like, this is spaghetti with meat sauce, and then the other one's meat ravioli and tomato sauce, which sounds a lot to me like spaghetti and meat sauce. Just anyhow, the variation isn't so great. And uh, the other thing is, that if you're going to eat these for a long period of time, they're not really that healthy for you, so it's going to be more of a limited, uh, something you're going to want to use on a real short-term basis. Dehydrated foods, uh, the nice thing about them is they have the longest shelf life, they're lightweight, and you have a really decent selection of core components, you know, like various fruits, and you can get peas, things like that. So there's a, a really wide variety of oh, pretty much anything you're going to want to make it, that you would make as a regular meal. You can get dehydrated. These strawberries are pretty cool. This whole can uh, weighs six ounces. So, I mean, I thought it was empty when I bought it. I got home and was surprised it was full. I and mean, they, they sound like styrofoam. But they are delicious. Now, the bad part about dehydrated food is they can be expensive, uh, especially if you get into the meat and the fruits the dehydrated meats. The vegetables aren't too bad but the the meats and veggies are, are, the, are a little expensive. Uh, you have limited meal options especially if you get go to companies uh, now I'm just picking on August and Farms here because that's what was available in Wally World but Wise uh, Foods makes uh, meals and they're basically just uh, salt and pasta there's no protein to them at all so it's not really something that you would want to use as a sustainable uh, way to eat uh, Mountain House does a better job they actually have meat in their packages but they are so expensive and uh, the other real big con is if you're shopping for this kind of stuff you really gotta watch out because they're very tricky on how they advertise it they'll advertise it in servings if you're buying like a kit full of stuff and a lot of times 25 percent of the servings aren't meals they're drinks so you gotta really watch out what you're doing I picked up these apple slices just to try them when I popped the lid on this the smell was amazing these are really delicious you can just eat them right out of the thing like this so they're delightful and one other uh, con with the uh, dehydrated foods is that you're going to need water to rehydrate it. Well, with the exception of these delicious apples, but if you want to eat this, you're going to have to boil water and you're going to need a couple cups of it. So, um, not a big deal for where I live, but uh, you know, it might be an issue for some people. I like canned foods a lot. The uh, you really get a super selection with canned foods, and some and the lifespan is anywhere from 18 months to five years. Like this beef right here is, uh, 
was it's just January 2016 and this expires December of 2020 so I, it's got a really long lifespan on it unfortunately soups aren't quite so long I just bought this a little while ago this is November 2017 so I got some time on it but I go through soup a lot so I'm not really concerned about it expiring before I get to it the other nice thing about camp products it's stuff that I eat every day so uh, rotating is is not as big an issue with me uh, I really like canned foods a lot. This MRE is a unit I got from a company called Nitro Pack. They're pretty nifty because it's a double pack, so it's 10 bucks uh, for one of these things. Uh, they weigh almost three pounds, which is pretty heavy. Not really probably convenient for backpacking, but good for sticking in the car or in a camper or something like that. But you get a double entree, a double side. In this case, it's mixed fruit. Yeah. Uh, you get one dessert, one beverage, one water. This is a thing of tortillas, a couple crackers. The big drawback I see to this package is you have one heater to heat your thing. So I don't see myself really eating two of these at a shot where I could put them both in the heater package and heat one up. So you're probably heating one cold or buying more of those heater bags. In the little pouch you got a spoon, a sugar thing of matches. That's kind of nice. Salt or pepper salt wet nap grape jelly and some caffeine free coffee which I'm not sure what the point of that is and then the tapatillos were in there separately but this is kind of another bummer because you got two entrees and one spoon so if you brought this out here and you thought you and your buddy were going to share one of these things it better be someone you don't yeah, mind so sharing a spoon with. I'm going to go ahead and eat one of these meals and it's chicken with tomato and feta cheese so we'll see how that is Looks like it's going to be a tight fit. I think you could only fit one of these in here at a time anyways. Oh, if I don't tear the bag at the side of the package. Alright, now you just fill, where does it say to fill the water? If you fill the water up to... Well, I'll figure it out. Turns out the fill line is like right about there it's on the other side of the bag the heater is supposed to be on the bottom which is where it is and then this is supposed to be folded over I'm just gonna put a stick on there to keep it. she's cooking well that meals heating I'm gonna go ahead and try this mixed fruit 100 calories if you guys can see that Looks just like your regular mixed fruit you would get anywhere. Oh, it's a little gooey in the bottom looking. Well, let's give it a try. Tastes normal. It's pretty good because it's cold out here. So the fruit's cold. All right. All right, that guy steamed for a full three minutes, or 12 minutes. And uh, you got a spot here to tear it out. To get it out of the package so you don't have to put your hand right through the uh, steaming hot bag. Ooh, it's nice and warm. I'm just going to squish everything together in here. Ooh, hot. Uh oh. Smells pretty good. It's got some nice big, nice big piece of chicken in there. It's not hot, but it's plenty warm. It's actually really good. I decided to go ahead and uh, pop the second bag out of its package into a bowl so you can see what it looks like. It looks like about a three or four ounce piece of chicken. Probably when I squeezed it around in the bag I broke it up before into bite-sized pieces but not a bad piece of chicken. It actually looks kind of smaller all by itself. 
and this is the blueberry muffin top 300 calories 210 calories 